my friends. It is not even eight o'clock in the morning and oh, we are set to go with me and Jason and Ashley. So where are we going, Ash? Do you even, you know where we're going, right? Yeah. So she has a pulmonary appointment with Children's Hospital. Um, luckily, we don't have to go clear to Seattle, but they want to, and I don't know why she's the only one out of all the kids that have been they just didn't, diagnosed they just with asthma. Yeah. Just... yeah. And maybe it was more diagnosed um, from the pediatrician with the other kids. I don't know. But they want to have her be seen by a pulmonologist to officially diagnose her with asthma. I'm not really sure, <laughs> but uh, that's fine. Some of the other kids, Kaylee is really the only one that like has a kind of flare up outside of like seasonal allergies. Abby is definitely like a seasonal allergy. The allergies get to her, which then make it. Yeah. Which is fine, but I, I think I she's more like it It occurs more random. So we're just going to go and get her checked out and then she gets to go to school late. Did you bring your backpack? It's in the back. Oh, okay. So we'll see. We've never been to a pulmon pulmonologist before. Did you ever go to a pulmonologist for no. your asthma? No. No? Okay, Ashley, how was that little experience so far? Weird. Weird, yeah. So they tested her breathing abilities before. And they did little games on the screen, right? Blowing out candles, blowing a chicken to the finish line, yeah. right? The candles were easier to do. Yeah, the candles were easier to do. And then they gave you an inhaler treatment with a nebulizer. And they did four of them. You said by the fourth one you were kind of shaky. No, by the second. Yeah, you're usually only doing two puffs. But, but then they retested and... Didn't well, because you weren't giving it as much. Because I think because you were shaky. Yeah. yeah, you're not used to taking that many yeah. puffs. So now we wait mm -hmm. until the specialist comes in to read those results, right? Meanwhile, Dad and I are ready to pass out. We're so tired. <laughs> I almost you don't want to pass passed out in the waiting room. We had to go from the testing out to the waiting room, and now we're back in a room. So. I don't know why I'm so tired. I, I'm, I'm so not sleeping well at night. I'm not. Did the season change? Long appointment ended in an x-ray of her lungs just to make sure there's nothing else going on. We'll give you a little update as to what we did and talked about and have a little plan going forward, right Boo? Yep. You can take your mask off. You need a drink, I'm sure. We had to stop and get her a muffin from a little like coffee stand because she was so hungry. We didn't anticipate such a long appointment, right? So, we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A, right? Sure. And then get her to school. Yep. Dad's still a little cautious with this oh, car. I'm trying to look. You're fine. I, I I mean, look at this. The car does well with a, with a, a vlogging camera. Backup mirrors. Because uh, it's got such a nice flat little shelf in the front. And, and it won't gonna, like... I just want you to see how it's fine. There's a lot of cement barriers and stuff for him to hit, but he's he was definitely ooh, like, you ooh. can't eat in my car. You can't. Well, well, back up he's worried about getting Chick-fil-A because it'll be food in his car. Well, anyway. I have to uh, 
protect. Who, who was it that put a dent in the corner of the other car? 15, no, 17 years ago. I'm just saying. 17 don't years ago. Yeah, no, you, you 17, don't start mocking me. 17 years ago was the last time I've ever been in an accident. Just, and yet. And you cracked what? the wheel, you, windshield. You crushed and, your truck. You well, didn't you do it, but. crushed my truck. That was before we even had children, huh? I understand that. And I did mine when I was pregnant. So, so I didn't where crush are you a truck. A, a tow truck exactly. towing, a, towing another truck came into my lane and forced me into another lane and then a car rear-ended me. Well, a cement so barricade ran into the back of my car. But, <laughs> anyway. All right, regardless of sensitivities with driving. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so we have a good plan with Ashley going forward. Part of the problem I had was that I she couldn't use her inhaler like before PE or after PE or during PE because I didn't have a protocol set up for her that said that she had asthma. And so the doctor gave us a note and I'm gonna turn that into the nurse and we're gonna give them an albuterol inhaler and the spacer. We have learned that this has to be used all the time, not only for her, but- They didn't tell me that. For adults. Like they told me it was just to kind of get used to it. Yeah, oh, okay, no one's right. ever told me that she had to use the spacer. So we'll give the nurse a spacer and an albuterol inhaler um, specifically for Ashley, and she's going to use it um, for. Get a new inhaler. Yeah, I'll I'll get it and I'll bring it back to the doctor or th to the nurse when I, I get it. Up. Yeah, so she's going to use it 15 minutes before PE, once a week for now, and see how she does with the second PE day, and then maybe even just doing it um, each time she has PE, which is twice a week. Um, and then we'll obviously have it at home. We did the x-ray. We'll get those results back um, through my chart. And then um, the doctor did say it was like, you know, it's pretty standard asthma. She is pretty young to be getting it, you know, to start with it. But we, we've got a good protocol for it. And genetically, so many people in our, ha in our family have it. And a lot of it is seasonal allergies that induce it or cold induces it. But like sometimes we don't know what induces it. So you also can do it before like cheerleading and stuff, right? There's a car that's... It makes it look like the cars were in an accident. Oh, it looks like you are in an accident right there, babe. Maybe that's a little foreshadowing. Shush. <laughs> that kind of accident would... Look at that. The car keeps running into me. Anyway, so we're going to get a little Chick-fil-A and take her back to school. And we're going to celebrate his birthday. It was yesterday. Tell them what you got, because I didn't film you opening your presents yesterday. Oh, what yesterday. did I get? Yeah. Um, what did I get? Well, you should tell him what he did. What did I do? Oh, oh, that what was, I, I wish I had filmed this. Oh, shush. <laughs> so I knew, well, I knew I had presents. I was waiting for one more to come from Amazon, and it did, and I snuck it, and I wrapped it, and I had things ready to go. I had everything all hidden around the house in multiple different places, and he had not found any of the presents. I don't and I was waiting for the right moment. He was making waffles for the girls and had sat down to eat his waffles. Everyone else was kind of waking up. We were having a slow Sunday morning because we was didn't fun. actually... I was the first one up. I made waffles for everybody. Yeah, we didn't actually go to church yesterday. And so, anyway, so Ashley comes in to me and she's like, Hey, Mom, what are we going to do Dad's presents? And I was like, Yeah, I'll, I got to get it out and get it. He needs to leave the room. And she's like... Well, because he just came up to me and was like, hey, Ashley, did mom buy me any presents? <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be fair, you have never, ever done. I've never asked for any. I was just mm -mm. curious. I wasn't expecting anything. You did say you were going to get did, something. I have said that I was going to get him something. So, so tell us what you got. Um, uh, a little trash thing for the car, which I can't figure out where to put it. Uh, organizer for the trunk. We'll show it to him when we stop. And Is it I, in there? It's in there. And then a bag of my, you know, some of my favorite M and M's. Your root beer. Oh, it's some root beer. Bottled root beer, which bottled, is his nice favorite. Nice little bottled root beer. Um, and I have one more package coming in the mail. It is a, oh, it's the console organizers. Um, it's like four pieces that go into all these little console compartments. So we, the console things go into these little compartments because they're just empty holes. They're not like. 
um, filled up and organized or anything. But the ones I got on Amazon are specific for this Tesla, the Model 3, right? That's what we have, right? Yes. Uh, so, but it's not going to be here till like the end of the month, unfortunately. So, but I wanted it to be specific for this car, not just like a general. Yeah, they fit and slide. And yeah, they fit specifically to this They're made for the puzzle. car and they work really well. So. Yeah, so it's worth the wait. So, he had a good birthday yesterday. It was great. It was relaxed. nice. It was very nice. But we're trying to go out to do something for his birthday before the kids get home from school because it's just a school night. Um, but this appointment, it's almost 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we'll have to figure it out and see what we have time for while the kids are in school I had wanted to go home and walk and edit and do that kind of stuff but I've got like a full face of makeup on and I don't want to do that until I am done like being out and about so we'll just I might be doing my my steps um, later tonight so also it says air quality is good so I'm gonna go for a run. yeah the air quality has been horrible all weekend and so um, anyway but I am reading all of your comments today about my tattoo. I was so nervous for that video to go out. I'm actually more nervous for my family to see that video because they don't know. Um, I have one sister-in-law who watches. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous for her to watch. But thank you for your kind words. And I love, I absolutely love finding out what tattoos you guys have and why you have them. If there's like a lot of people get tattoos for specific reasons. There's like heartfelt meaning behind them. And I have loved reading all the reasons why you guys have them and where and like what this, you know, the colors. I love all of that kind of stuff. So thank you for sharing that with me because it all, it, it also kind of um, reinforces why I got mine. Like it wasn't just like a rebellion or... Everybody I know who has tattoos, ha there's a meaning behind it. Yeah. It's not just, I want to like put this funky thing on my body. Yeah. I'm sure there's some people like that, but the majority of people just want... They want... They have a meaning behind it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to order. All right, got to get food. So do you know what happens when your husband for turns 49? Yes, I'm admitting how old my husband is. I am 44. You spend the entire morning taking your daughter to the hospital and it goes longer than you expect and then you have to run errands. And then you come home and you decide, we had plans today to go out for lunch for his birthday, but instead, you take a nap. You take a nap. <laughs> You've been asleep for hours. Two hours, I think. He actually had to leave and go and get Kaylee from school. Uh, she couldn't get a ride home from her friend or her boyfriend and it's just too hard to go on the bus with crutches. So he ran to get her and he is about to come home and grab me and then we're gonna go out to do something for his birthday. We just don't wanna do like the whole night crowd um, down in town. We're gonna go down to, hopefully we'll go to Din Tai Fung. That's what I convinced him he wanted for his birthday. <laughs> he wanted Indian food, but um, I'm not a huge fan. I, I like Indian food, but there's only like one thing that I would ever get. I can just see if there's a package. I had to change delivery notice for one of my packages. Nope, it's not here. Um, but he loves Din Tai Fung too. It was just maybe not the budget that he wanted to spend for today, but I think I convinced him to do it. But I should have been working out on that baby. I should have been working out over here but I didn't. I plan on getting on that tonight when I get home because Jason plans on going for a run. The air quality is better today and then he is gonna go help um, set up for the haunted forest at our friend's house. And I feel very unproductive today and yet it's okay. Good. Right. Um, as expected, Din Tai Fung did not disappoint, but we, our heads were bigger than our mouths, and we ordered way too our much. Our eyes are bigger than our stomachs. I'm too tired to remember the phrases, but he usually makes fun of me anyway for getting them wrong. Uh, we have a ton of leftover food, so we had them split it. So that he had a portion of everything for lunch tomorrow and I had a portion for lunch tomorrow. 
So we have look a lot of the, leftovers. Look at the equity in our marriage. It is. I mean, hopefully he did it like more toward my side. Oops. Just kidding. <laughs> he didn't. But um, I'm gonna end this video. I am. I thought getting food in me would be. Wait, I thought you were gonna go to. No, watch. Okay, whatever. I don't want to get on a 405. I'm not getting on 405. I'm going down to whatever road number. Okay. We're now going home at rush, rush hour traffic from the city, and I don't want to even on the highway. But I'm going to end this video because I thought getting food in me would give me a little boost of energy tonight. I am so tired. Ugh, I just, I'm going to go home and take care of the kids, make sure that they have food to eat. Take care of the kids. I know, they're very independent. Well, I did all the work to make them independent. <laughs> <laughs> I am reaping the benefits of oh, having independent okay. children yes, right now. Are, we both are. did. We both taught them. Yes, we taught them all be self-sufficient children. I don't have to cut up their, you know, food. Chelsea already made mac and cheese after school. And she's probably already, oh my gosh. And another day, I need to show you the little notebook that um, she has made. Um, she has a new art notebook, but it's more for her daily affirmations. And her, as she has like weekly checklists. It's like, she's a, she's, just following after her mama <laughs> but she's putting art into it and it's so so cute um so she has like this little checklist of i'm gonna do five planks today yeah and she got random what was the 12 uh, it was something like 12 hugs or yeah i don't know like, there's, there's a random little i'm gonna be kind to over. five people and yeah. i'm gonna work on my homework for one hour I don't know. I'm just proud of her, and it's so cute. Um, so I'm cute. I'm excited to see what her little affirmations and list was for today, because she's kind of has this goal. She also we ordered a bunch of stuff to help her organize her desk because she's becoming very responsible and doing her homework. And the art is such a big part of her life that I want her to have a place to do it. And so one of these days when all that stuff comes in and I get her to organize her little desk space, I'm going to see if she'll let me do a video of it. Um, so I can show you all of that stuff that she does because you don't see her on the videos very often. Um, one, cause she's like 12 and a half and it's a little, she's kind of in that awkward phase, but also, um, she's always just doing something. So, <laughs> but I'm going to ask her if she will film that for, or do that with us. Um, because I think you will see a side of Chelsea that's really, really fun. But we're going to head home through traffic and sign off with you guys. Um, yeah, our kids are kind of going through a lot of health issues, but they're all healthy-ish, I guess. They're good. They're just, it's just like one on top of another. Like the doctor today, she's like, neither health concerns with anyone else in the family. I'm like, you don't have time for that. <laughs> you don't have time for us to go through the list. Um, but thank you for all of you being there for us and our girls and thinking of them as they've all gone through these little hiccups in their health, you know, history or whatever. But nothing, nothing. Nothing bad. Nothing. It's just... There's other people with kids that are going through yeah, a lot so Yeah. We're grateful for where we're at. Yeah. The health we have. Yeah. All right. Take care, you guys. We'll see you next time. This is where my heart is Oh, you know it's true No matter where I go I'm coming home to you